David Ono, Channel 7, and, and the reason I love this panel, we talked about diversity, and that's kind of uh, uh, really dear to the folks here at ABC7, uh, of course, an evening anchor uh, at 4 and 6 o'clock, but we were one of the more innovative stations years ago when we decided that it news needed to uh, the face of the community, rather than just in the old days where it was one older Caucasian man, uh, and sometimes a Caucasian man or a Caucasian woman. This is the most diversity in the world, and so why not have the, some representation for this city? So we have a variety of ethnicities, not only on our anchor desk, but in our reporting crew, among our producers, among our writers. We definitely believe in that, and so it's been a great uh, method of success here in Los Angeles. Hi, my name is Steven Chavez and I'm with the Board of Public Relations Society of America as well as an Advisory Council member with HPRA. Wonderful. What did you think about this evening's I think tonight's program was just filled with so much information and wish we had more time, but the panelists were amazing and the, the idea of multicultural marketing PR has really come to age with, and I think every company, every agency really needs to seriously sit back and think, how are we going to do this and how are we going to do it right? Because as someone mentioned, we're, even if we froze time today, the marketplace is such in demand of, of smart, savvy marketers, um, and, and it's really a winnable situation for everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, I've got Jeffrey Burbank with PRSA and the president of IABC, Paula Cass and Jeffrey, what did you think about tonight? Well, tonight I just thought it demonstrated um, that we're really at a crossroads. I mean, I think this is really a tipping point for public relations in terms of outreach to uh, all kinds of um, diverse groups that they're becoming more empowered, they're more mainstream, and you really shouldn't ignore them. Hi, Nicole. I thought it was very interesting, um, some of the comments about how you can get a much higher return or a much uh, larger response if you focus on a specific cultural group um, than you would get if you do a mass market response. You, They will pay more attention to what you have to say and you'll get better results. I thought that was quite Cabrera. Hi, Christy Lee. How are you? What did you take from this evening's panel in 10 words or less? I think for me what was really significant was all the statistics that they had. They had the breakdown of the different demographics and the numbers were really staggering for all the different segments that are out there and growing. Great, thank you. For me I was particularly interested in learning more about the, um, the LGBT market so I, I found that to be most fascinating because um, as you said, you know, that's not a typical market that you would think to segment your marketing efforts. Thank you. Thank you.